Welcome to the fantastic edition of the Nerdwatch Podcast. I, of course, am G Money, hot off the heels of a fantastic, a fantastic Nerdwatch and Maui Comics and Collectibles uh, screening adventure of Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, I do want to introduce the boys first, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Welcome, Akaku. Thanks for watching. Um, Thanks for watching, because we didn't think anybody was. Thank anyway, you all. <laughs> if you're watching, we're so sorry. Yeah, yeah. we are. The um, two of you that we met at the at the movie theater. And yeah. The one guy who came to that one pizza parlor in Wailuku. Yeah, that's the guy. The three of you that watch where I work. You Thank see you. What I did there? That's hey, the guys. We know he's watching. Yep. Ruben. <laughs> well, joining us, uh, joining us this evening for uh, uh, in this lovely, humble, what we like to call the Church of Nerd, <laughs> um, Maui Comics and Collectibles. Um, just made that up. I. <laughs> I, I, I did. Is that what it says outside on the door? It does. Something it was like good. That. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, said yeah. fellowship, so I don't know. Oh, fellowship of the nerd. I oh, like wait, that, too. There's a theme going here. Yeah, there is kind are of. Are we like a like congregation? Well, we are almost. We what about have... nerdship of the watch? Uh, you know, oh, nerdship of the watch. I like that, too. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. These are kind of really cool names. By the way, we're all we're TMing all of those. Um, <laughs> Just say hashtag. Hashtag. These very good point. Uh, first of all, to my immediate left, and if you're watching on television, my immediate right. If you can't tell, both my left and my right on television is... Well, you can't tell. Anyway, I am joined by the one, the only, the man, the legend. The slam dancer. The slam dancing <laughs> professor, <laughs> Professor Barry. Uh, also joining us this morning is... Um, this morning? <laughs> this evening, excuse me, this evening. Uh, joining us this evening is, uh, is uh, a very talented comic book artist. And, uh, um, and Todd's here, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, uh, a very, a uh, very uh, talented comic book writer, and also uh, a comic book fascist elitist. Uh, the one and only Todd Bernardi is in the house as well. Yes, Todd Bernardi. Oh man, with an introduction like that. That's right. That's right. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the actual slam dancer of the crew, the one and only. Uh, That's so not at, true. <laughs> The one and only, the rock star, the horror aficionado. Um, and freshly single. And fre oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, news. Wow. wow. That's juicy. Freshly single. That makes it be the bebop to wow. his can, record. Can, can, I, can I sniff you? walking back now. So you're freshly where, single? Where do we uh, apply? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that on the air. Wrote. No. Oh, all right. Right. Wait till we're after tomorrow. Because thanks to Seinfeld, Seinfeld, I actually wrote up my sexual resume. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's typed up and all. Wow. So, wow. Being, I've read it. It's like question, 15 pages long. Being, being freshly it's single. mostly solo sessions. Being freshly single, um, how do you feel? Huh? How do you feel now? Good? Freshly single, sir. Oh, man. Oh, you uh, want me to cry? Do, do you smell good? <laughs> I'm going to be drinking about it later. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Drinking yeah. about it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drink, drink about it. Yeah. <laughs> also joining us today or this week, um, he wasn't here last week, um, but he is here this week. Um, is uh, the one, the only Big C? He's also in the house as well. He's I think, the. Uh, I think you're confused as to why I'm here. Oh, <laughs> once again, um, we're still wondering why he's here or how he got here. Uh, he's here as well, and he walked in one day, wouldn't leave. That's right. <laughs> because Gannon's single. Oh. That's yeah. <laughs> Not anymore, I guess. Not anymore. <laughs> well, uh, keep you warm, buddy. also joining us, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, is the is another gentleman that uh, uh, was part of the Big Trouble Little China. Oh, stuff. Uh, is that an effy thing? He's also the gaming guru. He does everything gaming. If I go to, if I need to answer, have a question answered about it, he knows it. Uh, it's I go one, right to Google. That's right. <laughs> uh, that's it's yeah. uh, the one and only format in the house as well. Um, also in uh, in the mix this evening is uh, the, the owner. Of, uh, uh, I know, into the mix. Is Captain the Comics himself. No, no, well, hang on. I'm going to skip over him oh, wow. for really quick. Oh, wow. um, burn. Disregarded. <laughs> I'm awesome. feeling the burn. I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> you are uh, longer in the mix. That's right. The owner of Omniverse Comics, uh, the one and only sage of the show. Hennessy's in the house as well. well folks. Um, uh, and then, last... Certainly not the least of us. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is the one, the only, the man who owns the, the, the church in which we uh, 
Man, I better be careful. This is very careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tread carefully. Which we congregate. Which we congregate and worship in. Uh, Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right. <laughs> can, we it's, uh, can we file for some sort of tax debt? Right. It's, uh, it's just Pastor. Just oh, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Anyway, it's uh, Alika, the owner and proprietor of this lovely shop called Maui Comics and Collectibles. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll be going back to him very shortly because guess what? We have some interesting, uh, we got some interesting stuff uh, to talk about. Uh, Silent Sean and his massive calves and lunges are in the house as well. Great form. Uh, and uh, they're be- it's beautiful form. His Fantastic. massive and alluring uh, calves. Yeah. Awkward, Can't stop looking. <laughs> and then uh, behind the camera, the man the man who gets very little credit uh, like for all the hard work that he does. Uh, the swan is in the house as well. He's behind the camera. The comic book henchman is here as well. You shouldn't get yeah. in front of the camera. War chief. No, he shouldn't get in front of the camera because apparently he's getting his own show so oh. you know whatever he doesn't need any more air time. doesn't need exactly doesn't need any show. more air time he's crossing mediums yeah yeah it's the ridiculous <laughs> that's what you should call your show the swan song that'd be great it's like a sports show <laughs> that's sweet it would just be strictly about led zeppelin <laughs> that's right <laughs> well listen uh before we get into all the the, the regular festivities uh i want to talk about uh maui comics and collectibles very quickly uh they are a uh, a wonderful place uh for uh for for, for nerds to congregate, uh, Maui Comics and Collectibles uh, looks. Look, you can look buy behind all us. This stuff. If you're here and if and if you're not listening sure. and watching, behind us is a plethora of wonderful comics that are for sale that you can add to your collection. Collectibles in the house as well. And here's the great buy thing: buy most of them. <laughs> Every Tuesday, he says that you can have twenty percent off. The comics. Yeah, get this crap out of here. That's right. And then Arriving. on, and, oh, <laughs> and then he's so generous that on Wednesdays, not only does he get new comics, he asks full price. So, I'm not asking. <laughs> oh, you're, t- you're telling. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tell you. Um, so uh, it's uh, new comic book Wednesday uh, every Wednesday. Except, ironically, not last week. You had a delay in shipping. Yeah, we got it on Thursday. <sighs> So how'd that work with full this, price? This ruins the, the whole point really? of the show, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jeez. I ruined it. Um, so, uh, new comic book Wednesday tomorrow. What, are, are, is there anything good that we're expecting? Uh, we got some more DC polybag <clears throat> variants for <clears throat> the Batman v Superman movie. Oh, more? Man. Oh, man, please tell me you're getting Batman number 50. That's right, Batman 50. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sound excited. <laughs> about 18 of them. All right. And, and Wonder else? Woman, uh, I think 50 as well. <clears throat> and then Carnage number 6 for Marvel. People right, 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 right. Like in that. Uh, hey, are they going to release an underoos number one? <laughs> it's already Spidey. I think that's oh. close enough. <laughs> All right. With the underoos. All right. Well, listen. Uh, here's the one thing I didn't mention. <coughs> we are hot on the heels of Batman v Superman, so of course the comics are, talk about are, are ramping up. Obviously, right? Yeah. And we'll have some of those variants to pass out at the movie premiere on Thursday. We will. So you're yeah. saying they don't the need to come here and buy them? Uh, <laughs> don't bank on getting one. There's not that many. Come on, guys. Are there going to be any Elf Quest variants? <laughs> what was that again? I'm sorry. What was that again? The format? I could, I could, are, are there going to be any Elf Quest variants? I'm sure there will be. There if will be uh, if uh, for the upcoming Elf Quest. Movie? If Todd has his way, Netflix series. <laughs> I'm, I'm more looking forward. Excuse me. I'm more looking forward to the World of Warcraft ones. Oh yes, it's going to be awesome. That that movie's going to be excellent too. <clears throat> Yeah, that's going to be excellent. So, what else can we look forward to? Uh, um, whatever your name is down there. Uh, uh, Alika. No, it's all right. <laughs> he owns the shop and lets us be here. That's Harley, true. Point. Harley Quinn, new issue, 26. Yeah, speaking of that, I had no idea that the first appearance of Harley Quinn in the comics uh, from last week's com- I did. Right? I didn't know that. I watched Comic Book Man. And I was like, that's an expensive comic, baby. It's a very expensive comic. Wow. In near mint, like a 9.2 or a 9.0 can go for about $600. Good wow. Lord. Yes. Man. Wait, what year did it come out? Uh, 94, I want to say. 92. Wow. It's like a Maybe relatively 92. recent title, too. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, what's ironic is, is that... That's Not as recent as you want to think, Barry. That's 20 years ago. <laughs> it's, well, for me, it was yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. It doesn't look like... I mean, it doesn't... The, the art... I, didn't like, I don't like the art very much. I mean, not... Well... It's it's a very stylistic, you yeah. know, you have to be kind of yeah. used to it, but the, if you read the comic, it's very, very fluid. It matches the cartoon, and you remember the animated of series. Of course. You know? So well, it kind of it kind of brought it to the page and, like, helped them expand the story. Wow. All right. I think uh, it was Paul Denny who did the art. Paul mm-hmm. Denny. Oh, Paul yeah. Denny. Yeah. And he has a new hard, uh, hardcover coming out about, um, like, a really bad story about how he got mugged and, like, almost got killed. <clears throat> and he was going through a real dark... 
Kind of like he had like the angel and devil on his shoulder. On, on yeah. his shoulder. Like if the devil was the Joker. Man, yeah. What? I'm trying to think of what uh, what the name of the hardcover is coming out, but Dark, it's, it's going to be out. Knight. It's called the Dark but Knight. Not with a K. Okay. Yeah. The Dark Knight. Yeah. The Dark Knight. With wow. Paul Dini, and wow. it's all about that story. But he uses Batman and Joker to tell nice. how he got through it. Nice. Wow, kids, That's don't cool. forget to speak into the mic. Anyway, <laughs> um, um, so any other anything else of note that we should uh, be uh, that we should be coming to purchase? New Ninja Turtles. No. No. I, I, I Listen, do not out. bring up the Ninja Turtles. My favorite. Oh, God. Still the best in the world, despite having sold out. <laughs> oh, no. Man, they sell out. He actually grabbed the microphone. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And do speaking not of sellouts, started. we've also got Venom Space Night and <laughs> X-Men, worst X-Men ever. Worst X Men. So oh, you know how right. much you love Marvel, so. Mm-hmm. But the worst X Men ever, like, that's the Underoos guy, right? Yeah, Underoos okay. too. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Anyway, so, uh, hey, we got a visitor. A random a special oh. guest. A special guest. Welcome. Hey. Oh. 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 Listen, none of this lovey dovey stuff hey, during oh the Nerd God. Watch. <laughs> what is this? That's being you know, a father. Hugging okay. and kissing that your boy and stuff? Hey, 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 hey. Us. Yeah, hey. it does a little bit, I guess. Put that That's mic being on a you. Father. I guess so. I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. so come uh, on down. So listen. You got little children and everything. Hey, you got kids here and everything. <laughs> if you need a kiss, Alika's more than welcome to give you one. You can apply for Gannon. Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> his wife's listening, That's, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I didn't, I didn't specify male or female. He doesn't mind. Either one. <laughs> yeah, I guess you also decide right? what kind of kiss. Yeah, I mean, you're for... making a lot of promises uh, on my behalf. True, I am. Let's <laughs> get back to the schedule, <laughs> shall we? Like, yeah. I tiner- I, the itinerary. Glad Barry wrote uh, this down. Thank you, Barry. Paul, Paul Dini is a writer. He's not an artist. Uh, I think the, uh, who's art- the artist. <laughs> But I think it's Bruce Tim. Bruce, Bruce Tim, Tim that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bruce Bruce that book? Uh, it's actually Eduardo Rizzo. Wow. Bruce yeah, yeah. Tim yeah. was responsible for the animated series. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, but he also did the Paul, comic Paul Dini, series, too. Paul Dini wrote a lot of them. Right. Uh, Bruce Tim did a, the art direction. He Love designed him. Harley Quinn originally. Mm-hmm. Very cool. But I don't know who actually did the art. You said it was... I that Dark Knight book. I did it the other day. Uh, uh, that's a perfect place for that mic, by the way. Just lean in a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Anyway, gents... Oh, look at that. More love so on this show. On this very show. It's, it's a very special episode. It's a very special episode. It's called Aloha. That's Boy. right. It's going to be called Aloha. Gannon Single Aloha. No More. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, You're gents. He um, let's uh, let's get back on track. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, just give it a few minutes here. I want to talk a little bit about our experience at our screening, the Nerd Watch and Maui Comics and Collectible screening of Big Trouble in Little Ooh, China. Yeah. Uh, first off, I, I would like to um, thank everyone that came. I uh, all of the uh, all of the people Arrived. that are thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey. 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 Boy. Barry's uh, first correction. On wow. Um, so I want to thank everybody that was able to attend. Uh, you guys, without you guys, we would not have been able to do it. We thank you guys so much. Um, your support for these things, your support for these special screenings, are uh, are tantamount or paramount to what we want to do. Yeah. I want to say that your support for these is uh, does not. Go without recognition, and we really appreciate it. And one of the things I wanted to say on that sta- on that on that stage uh, in the theater when we're talking is, you know, what I love about screenings like that and about movies like Big Trouble in Little China is that once you w- once you open that door and everyone sits in their seats, whatever political or or social ills happen to be <laughs> that happen to separate us, when we sit in those seats and those that light comes on and that screen. It all just kind of floats away, and everybody kind of is the same. And they are they're as just, happy as that sounds. It's I. I it was a really. It was because well, re- you guys left, experience. and then Zootopia started next. Yeah, and then Zootopia you, came. You off, guys left, and everybody so. was like, Ugh. <laughs> I, I just want to give props to the guy that cosplayed as Jack, as Jack Burton. He yeah. did. That guy was fantastic. What? I miss Jack Burton. Yeah. Here's the How problem: you is that you you he missed it because I was going to have you actually go up and talk to the people. Yeah. I'm nervous to go up there. Barry took. Barry, I was. I thought that was awesome. That's a good thing to do because you know Barry can give his lecture before the movies. That was mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was that, like a treat see, see, now you're in love. See? Yeah. See, uh, see? I, <laughs> now I see what you're talking about. Yeah, right, right, right. There it is. There it is. Now we know why his students are always so bored. <laughs> <laughs> No, Barry did an amazing job. Um, I love listening to Barry speak about movies. He's uh, um, one of the great things about it is that when Barry speaks about movies, there's a lot of uh, just like 
Todd when he speaks about comics, the passion behind it and the love behind it is really there. And I think everybody in that auditorium really felt it. And for that, guys, I really appreciate it. You guys did amazing, amazing yeah. work. Barry, and Auntie all the way Kai down, Todd. Auntie Kai, we want to thank yeah. you so much. Thank she was in the movie. She it came. It was just such a great community. It was. It, it was like, absolutely like, wonderful. Auntie Kai did an uh, interview outside with Swan and um, with Aaron. Yeah. And then she came inside and, uh, you know, had and spoke to. Yeah, she did. It was a, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, that and was amazing. So from uh, from uh, from Barry to uh, uh, Bruce, uh, you guys did an amazing job. Uh, job. Todd, Gannon, uh, C, everybody, you guys did an amazing job. Let's do it again soon. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and I hope I hope that this is something that we can look forward to in the future because this was a really good time. And uh, f- um, yeah, and it just was really a lot of fun. And uh, by the way, if you haven't been to our Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash the nerdwatch format uh kind of put it out best uh, in written in written prose uh and uh prose. his and how much prose and i uh and if you have not read it you should facebook.com slash the nerdwatch he talked about his experience and what it felt like for him and i uh, i really liked it format by the yeah. way uh and it was a, it was an amazing little uh, written piece so thanks guys so much and todd really quick Todd, that artwork you did and was amazing, yeah. and oh, passing yeah. that out fantastic. Uh, was cool. fantastic. And I, I think to get a print too to lit- put up in the store. And by the way, people were one. asking for autographs. Yeah, he ran out. Yeah. I know that was I awesome. It was, it was insane. So uh, and Auntie Kai was so stoked on that print. Oh, cool. that you yeah. yeah. What an experience, though, on her behalf. Yeah, she was there with her children. Yeah, she yeah. was. Children that have never heard of this. Yeah, and yeah. they're viewing it for the first time yeah. with. You know, with their yeah, auntie, or yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that must be this. such a trip. Yeah, absolute trip. And I tell you what, every you know what's funny was is that I was still sitting in my seat. I wanted to get up and kind of, you know, thank everybody for coming. Everybody was coming up to me in the front row and just started shaking my ham and saying thank you and my ham, my hand. Um, <laughs> same difference, whatever. Um, shaking my hand and just saying thanks a lot. And I said, you know, I was just telling them, thank you guys. I mean, without you guys, this would not have happened. So it was fun. It was yeah. it was really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, it was and, a very cool experience. Right, right, and uh, of course. Of course, last but not least, before we get into too much of a love fest, I also want to thank Alika. Uh, he runs this shop and yet does stuff with us. He's uh, he's buried in paperwork. Oh, shucks. Uh, and he never complains. He never, and he never complains about anything. <laughs> I um, kind of uh, complain once in a while. Well, uh, and I, well, we're he, not within your shop. Yeah, yeah, he does it. <laughs> and he provides, do it he Sam provides Sam the prizes and things like that. <laughs> and, and <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for that, Alika, I really do appreciate it. No, your support, I, I love how you guys do the podcast you, here. Your support of the Nerd Watch is, is what kind of drives us. As a matter of fact, I think that you are paramount, not to use that word again, but paramount to the success Trademark. of this. So I just want to say uh, thank you very much. You oh, and vice versa. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So big trouble, Little uh, China, an absolute success for its 30th anniversary. Awesome. Um, uh, yeah. so, and I think... I to share with you. Oh, crap. Um, it's not like a no. thing. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. What is it? Go ahead. Go ahead, see. That, that was actually my first time watching it, I realized. I thought, really? I, had, I, thought I had seen awesome. the film um, prior... And oh. lo and behold, it was actually a different film that I had saw. Gannon, That's you, so you cool bring though. this guy? You know what I mean? What is the deal, man? That's so I cool thought he though. knew his there stuff, were, There were Gannon. a lot of people that were there, no, but it was kidding. their first viewing. <laughs> what about yeah. so, the first time I ever saw it? I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, though. I mean, yeah, but you know what, though? Was... It's, uh, to be quite honest, it's, it's interesting, mm-hmm. and Barry pointed it out. He's the one that, that, that pointed out at, at the auditorium. He said, who's, who's watching this for the first time? Right. There's and, a lot of hands. And yeah. he said, and what he said was, 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 right, was spot on. He said, your life will change before and after right. Big exactly. Trouble in Little China. Well, I mean, I saw, I saw a lot of cultural references that I, I got to really, like... You saw the origins of Mortal Kombat. Uh, uh, exactly. Thank yep. you. That's, that's yep. kind of where yep. it was super cool for me yeah, because I was absolutely. like... Oh my God, that's Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, so, Format and I were talking after the screening about how different it is seeing it on the big screen, what yeah. a different experience that was. And I, I'm driving home and I thought, you know, there's been a lot of lovable idiots subsequently. And, you know, I know Evil Dead was made before, it was made a few years before Big Trouble, but, you know, with the subsequent Evil Deads, especially Army of Darkness, there's a lot of Jack Burton and Ash. And I say that respectfully. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, what, Bert, what, uh, what Kurt Russell did in that movie was so special. 
special. And it's yeah. such a it's such a wonderful and sly and clever comedic performance. And mm -hmm. to see it on the big screen, that was such a gift. It yeah, really it, was. it absolutely was. And that was well, that was my first time seeing it on the big screen. To me, yeah, admit, I've I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie uh, at least uh, uh, ten, twelve times without a doubt. So, yeah. and it's so funny that there are things you picked up on watching it, and uh, the, they're jokes that you don't even think about. One thing I noticed is Jack Burton is a lot more heroic than I remember. I thought he was just completely bumbling, but he actually did a couple of good things. In right. He was great in that. Yeah, I forgot yeah. that he, he kills, kills Lopin. Yeah. So it's like, like yeah. the one good thing he does. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a one. Oh, well, <laughs> for anybody from 1984, <laughs> <laughs> time travels to watch his show. Spoilers. <laughs> That's one of the things that that me and uh, Barry were talking about afterwards was. There was so much more to the movie just being on the big screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it was funnier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the the action sequences had more you know punch to them. Yeah, yeah. There's it was just more of a movie just yeah. being on the big screen because yeah. it's I mean on an actual movie screen as opposed to your television that right. just right. doesn't do it justice. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen I've seen the movie enough times where like I can recite line by line sure. you know certain scenes and he was and <laughs> watching it on the big screen there's yeah. like oh. I forgot all about this part. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. it's such a like a, a different dynamic to, to watching a movie. It, it's interesting because Kurt Russell, my, one of my, he's my man crush, and he's probably one of my favorite actors. Right. Is uh, on this before. Kurt Russell? He was your man crush? He was. Oh, yeah. Kurt Russell. Also, crushes? he's in his list. <laughs> yeah. Also, Walt. <laughs> also, Walt Disney's not, not illegitimate son. Zellig yes, the Walt. frozen head of Walt Disney's illegitimate son. That's right. <laughs> uh, the great. Th what's interesting is that what you when you watch Big Trouble in Little China, not to pontificate too much too much longer on it, but when you watch Big Trouble in Little China, you and you watch Jack Burton.